It's the quarter-final stage today, quarter being the operative word. We've got one of the four games tonight and the other three for you tomorrow. Could this be the year a non-premiership side wins the FA Cup? Well, they're guaranteed a semi-finalist. We've got Bolton versus Charlton. Meanwhile, in the Premiership, just one game played today. We'll see struggling Middlesbrough against Coventry. Only two games, but plenty for Alan to ponder. Right, we start with the AXA sponsored FA Cup six round tie between Bolton Wanderers and Charlton. The reward for the winners a semi final at Wembley. Our commentary team were Mark Lawrenson and Barry Davis. The Reebok Stadium has the FA Cup's nationwide focus and has much to offer. From Bolton's Ida Gunjotsen, who shares with Alan Shearer the record of having so far scored in every round. On to two friends, Andy Hunt, Charlton's top scorer, and Bolton's Bob Taylor, the other number nine, who once starred together at West Bromwich Albion. And then there's Charlton's goalkeeper, Dean Kiley, whose form since he came from Bury at the end of last season has been such a confidence booster to a side who arrive here with 11 straight wins under their belts. Bolton restored Dean Holden and Mike Whitlow, who were both suspended last week at Birmingham, and Mark Fish is back from helping South Africa to third place in the African Nations Cup. And Taylor is preferred to Dean Holdsworth. Charlton arrived with the club captain, Mark Kinsella, back in their squad after illness, but they stick to an unchanged side, that which beat Fulham in midweek and which now has a six points clear lead at the top of Division One. And that fact means that Andy Todd plays against the team he left in somewhat acrimonious circumstances only last November. The man in charge is the referee who will be going to Euro 2000 from England, Graham Paul. Bolton playing from left to right and the winner of this match in the first quarter final of the AXA sponsored FA Cup will be in the semi-final for the first time since the trophy was last won by that club. 1958 as far as Bolton are concerned, 47 as far as Charlton. That's neatly done. Oh, what a good opening strike by Ida Good Johnson. So many around him, but he still found space, but he couldn't keep the shot down. And that's the sort of start that the home crowd would have been very happy to see, Mark Lawrence. Very much so, Barry, and I think if you look at both sides, got great width. That's a good clearance by Kylie after uh, a good break by Klaus Jensen. Well, the last time the Bolton won, this is the man who scored both goals against Manchester United in 1958, Matt Lofthouse. Far by Johnson. He just jumps to complain, and uh, he felt that the referee was being harsh on him, but Mr. Paul makes absolutely sure that he knows why he gave the free kick. Yeah, I think definitely uh, the referee, Graham Paul, got it right. It was... Normally the other way around in football, but I think we saw from the clip to today that it was the Johnson doing the fouling. Bergson goes for it, is comfortably beaten by Pringle, who now looks for the return, and nobody's gone with him, and there he is, and he just couldn't knock it in. I think it came up and hit his hand. That was terrible defending by Bolton. They just allowed the Swede to go exactly where he wanted to go. I think you'll find that it's just Bergson actually gets a touch onto Pringle, which makes him miss the chance. Forward by Holden, only to Rufus. Rather giving the ball to the opposition. Shooting opportunity. Robbie Elliott it was. Different Robbie Elliott from the one uh, remembered at Newcastle. 
Jones playing in midfield now, but a good run from distance. Yeah, I think you can see the intent straight away when he picked the ball up in central midfield. He was through a shape just to throw the defender off the trail. He was always going to go forward and, and look to get a strike on goal. So what do you do when your match is the next day? Well, if you're Newcastle United, you come here to the Reebok Stadium to watch one of your former players and this only match being played in the quarterfinals today. Johnston. Four waiting in the box. And it's loose. Oh! Off the post from Robbie Elliott. been unlucky twice once with the shot across the face and now from close in Johnston tried to curl it when there were other options. Oh! Just set up a little bit too much for Johansson. Yeah, I think a feature of the Bolton play is very much how they move the ball forward very, very quickly from midfield. They're very interchangeable, certainly it's front two as well. People like Taylor, good Johnson, good movement, and the midfield players are very quick to support. Well, Sam Allardyce was saying in the week that he was pleased his team were not on live television because in the past his teams had never done well on live television. And I can tell you they're certainly lively on match of the day. It's a good floated ball. Well put away by Rufus. Johnston. Good angle in. And a good challenge by Todd that was telling. Got there first ahead of Holden. It's more chunky, more aggressive looking than his father. I don't think he's got his father's pace, unfortunately. His father was a great player in my book. Johansson and the goalkeeper was a spectator it was a very good clearance by Powell an awful lot of the ball going across roughly on the six yard line and nobody taking control from Charlton appeals from the crowd but not from the Bolton players and a shirt pulling by Elliot which was quite unnecessary Well, it just turns out to be excellent covering from Powell, doesn't he? He reacts to the day and just straight away, Kylie's rooted to the spot and it's just very, very good defending. Whitlow. Johnston. Shown inside, goes inside. That's a good tackle by Rufus, needed to be, but now space for Elliott. Holden. Back again to Taylor. Kylie backtracking. Brown had already gone on the line. That's a good block, but uh, a shot from such an angle was perhaps not the best choice. The home crowd are enjoying this, and understandably so. Oh, good play by Jensen. Good Jensen. Another good shot. And one of the Charlton supporters there, Jim Davidson. Ah, on cue again, as ever. Good 
Johnson is certainly working hard, always offering himself. It's good play by uh, Johnson. Shirts to the test too. He'll just be grateful to get in at half-time, nil-nil. I think Alan Kirby, see, then he can reorganise his side. Jensen. Good Jensen. And on the far side is Taylor. It's a great pass, but not a great first touch. Feel for handball. Referee says it hit the side of Barnes. Taylor applauds the ball, which was an excellent ball by Good Jensen. But the header was disappointing. He got caught in two minds. Marcus, whether he was going to head for goal or put it down, didn't he? I think at first he thought he was going to head for goal. He obviously didn't see Kylie come racing out of his goal. He changed his mind. Elliot. Out by Newton. Stewart. That's nearly a very good ball too. Whitlow back, well placed. Forceful in the middle of the field, Jensen. <laughs> successful ping pong. Tolton pushing up uh, back two at the moment, now three. Almost up to the halfway line. So Maladice started his career at Bolton as a 15 year old. Played around 200 games and then played for seven other clubs. Back here as manager in succession to Colin Todd coming from Notts County. A minute of uh, stoppage time to be played. All across the field then by uh, Johansson. Todd. Newton. Sure his manager will encourage him to do more of this in the second half. Sean Newton to throw. Can't still unhappy about no free kick given in Bolton Swaver in the middle of the field. And an entertaining, lively, but ultimately unproductive first half about which Bolton will be somewhat concerned because they had the opportunities and more of the play Chris Powell once uh, clearing off the line in really excellent fashion and Robbie Elliott hitting a post but at half time the first quarter final has a blank score sheet Bolton Wanderers nil Charlton Athletic nil No changes in personnel. And what is the fifth time these two sides have uh, met in the FA Cup? Bolton have won three to Charlton's one. Charlton's win was in the semi final of 1946. And they met in the first FA Cup, which had its conclusion at Wembley in 23. That was in this round, the quarter final. Stewart. Charlton of today. Robinson. Whitlow. The Johnsons touch and he's given so much room to turn back to good johnson oh lovely goal lovely 
Burnley go. Oh, he really got hold of that, did the young Icelander. And it's just when he picked the ball up as well, there was nobody around. He made a lovely little run for the return. He's had a look. Does he cross it? No, he hits it. Superb piece by Gudjonsson. Absolutely powered across the face of Dean Kiley. And uh, Bolton had the lead. 65 seconds of the second half had elapsed when the ball hit the post and went in. I think the good thing about the goal, Barry, was the fact that Good Johnson had a look. He got his head up to cross it, so nothing was on and did the best thing for Bolton. Here's Johnston. Fish is Clarence. dismissed and they're down to 10 men I think it was a case of, of what happened in the centre of the field about 20 seconds earlier where there was a good tackle by Holden and Robinson which Robinson objected to there was obviously some afters and the referee has spotted exactly what Holden's been up to yeah, there was certainly a clash in the middle of the field and, and, and Robinson when he got up seemed to make contact then with uh, Holden and the two carried on into the corner and Allardyce wants to make a substitution Will the referee allow him to do so before the free kick is taken for Charlton Athletic? They want to bring on another defender, who is Paul Ritchie, and they are allowing that to happen. And uh, Bob Taylor is the player withdrawn. Which is a double loss to Bolton Wanderers, but an understandable substitution. Ritchie is played in the centre of the defence. And he's the replacement for young Holden. Might be a bit of a change around in the back four, we we'll see. And that was Good Johnson's header out. And here's Pringle. And that's a really good clearance by Whitlow. Two went with Pringle, Newton got up well. Charlton trying to put on the pressure immediately. Well, he looks calm enough now, he wasn't a few seconds ago. Stewart, Pringle. Not too much support, Hunt making a good run inside, Newton further over at the back of the box, is Robinson, this is Robinson, good save. Well it was a wild company, was it Pringle waited and waited, picked Robinson out, it took an excellent save by Jessica Leinen. And Robinson has gone across to take the result in corner. Sean Newton. And that's Rufus, and it's deflected and cleared off the line by Elliot. So easily been an own goal that, not by Elliot, but by the first deflection. Sam Allardyce's team have scored a fine goal, and then almost immediately lost a player for what appeared to be a headbutt. It's a bit wild by Elliott's dangerous play, clearly. Oh, 
was a very good header. Newton. Good strike. The goalkeeper was looking for the cross ball. And Newton took his chance and wasn't too far away. It was a vicious strike as well, wasn't it? And certainly, Yaskalainen was waiting for the cross, as you rightly say, to come in and was almost caught. And uh, a wide player for a wide player here. It's Johnston who comes off. And uh, in his place comes uh, Ricardo Gardner. Available rather earlier than expected. He's been playing for Jamaica in the Gold Cup, but uh, they went out in the first part of the exercise. This is Stewart. This is Newton. Jamaican's first job is to defend. Which he does with determination. Not to say aggression. That's well seen by Kinsella. Chance of a counter here. Options either way. He's got a second chance. Kinsella. Well, he certainly had Yaskalainen screwing across his goal. Jensen. Jensen has come out to the left. Other side is Johansson. Gardner. Well, he did well, didn't get hold of it quite as well as he'd hoped. But it was sharp. Ten minutes left. Very nifty turn, but he didn't get much body behind the shot. He was falling away as he hit it. Here's Jensen. And the free kick is given. Good Johnson has stayed very deep, which is interesting. And here's Jensen. Oh, good strike. Curled the wrong way for him. Well, it's extremely well worked because everybody's waiting for Johansson to deliver it. And of course, it was Jensen which caught Charlton off guard. Lots of power, just no direction, unfortunately. Here's Salako. Stayed wide on the touchline, Salako, but he's not been able to make any progress down that side. Now Pringle. Now Salako. Four looking for the cross. And they've all lost their man. Here's Robinson. It's got deflected and it's over the top of Gardner. Well, a cross came in from the left. It's unfortunate, really, for Charlton. I think that Hunt and Tyler got mixed up. I think Tyler was a man if he could have attacked it without the intervention of Hunt. It was a great chance. Four in the six-yard area. Good header by Whitlow. Newton. Fish. Straight down to Gardner, which was a touch fortuitous. Gardner again. And he's gone bouncing over the return, which is given in by Good Johnson. Oh! What a lovely move, which didn't find the finish. Well, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Johansson, Good Johnson, lovely little ball into the path of Gardner, stayed on his feet. What a goal that would have been. Here's Brown. Kinsella. Good strike! Eskalainen got his hand to it. 
Well, that was a great save by Pascalano, wasn't it, really? So it very, very late, left-handed. Pringle in front of the goalkeeper, Jaskalainen claims it well. It's been quite a competitive position for Bolton. Used three goalkeepers, Banks and Brannigan, as well as Jaskalainen, but the Finn seems to have made the place his at the moment. Salako, chance to turn it back in. Didn't get enough height. minute of the 90. Kinsella. Oh, just tapped onto the post and then amazingly blocked from Robinson. Oh, you see Eskaline and that was a great stop. Thunderous applause around the Reebok Stadium. And somehow he managed to, with the help of a defender, get the block in from Robinson. Tyler with the header. Well, you're witnessing the best save of the day here. Ball comes back off the post, and just a reaction to the right leg it was as well by Yaskalan. It doesn't matter what you save it with, though. Peacock, Day, and Kirby all on the touchline. The future in the FA Cup, hanging by the barest of threads. This is Gardner for Bolton. This is Good Johnson. Gardner making the run. Stewart throws it to the ball boy. The ball boy gives it to the goalkeeper. Doesn't matter where it was, the same thing would have happened on any ground in the country. Last chance, surely, for Charlton Athletic. Referee looks at his watch. Another ball knocked forward into space to be cleared by Bergson and Bolton Wanderers go to the semi-final which means that they go to Wembley the one goal by Idor Good Jonsson 65 seconds in to the second half takes the now president of Bolton Wanderers Nat Lofthouse and the rest of the Bolton supporters back to the Twin Towers of Wembley and there's a lovely symmetry it has to be said in that because this year will be the last final to be played there when the Twin Towers are at Wembley and of course Bolton were the first winners there back in 1923. Here's one of the heroes of the afternoon. You see Jaskalainen made two or three really good stops, particularly the last one turning the ball onto the post with his right hand somehow managing to block the follow-up from Robinson. Graham Pohl sent off Dean Holden soon after Good Johnson gave Bolton the lead. Charlton tried all they could to get the equaliser, but the crosses were disappointing and the finish could not beat the Finnish goalkeeper. Good Johnson's goal, decisive. Bolton are in the last four. It's one of those... Uh cup ties where everything's happened doesn't it you know we've got a lad sent off we've had to go down to 10 men uh, Charlton have thrown everybody forward and then the hero comes and emerges and that's the goalkeeper and uh, in the end he won us the tie Would you in truth rather that the run came to an end in the cup than in the league? Uh, yeah I think so but uh, I'd have loved to have got to a semi-final and uh, you know we, I've never been that far before and it would have been lovely for us but uh, it wasn't to be today Bolton deserved their win. Um, they played better than us in the first half, and um, we defended brilliantly. But uh, overall, I think they deserved it. Uh, and then when the game went to ten men, well, when they went to ten men, we just couldn't break them down. Although we had a couple of chances. Sam Allardyce said to me, "You don't score too many tappings. They're usual, usually goals to remember." Well, he's, he's mentioned that before. He'd uh, he'd like me uh, like to, to see me uh, put in a few tappings, but uh, I don't care how they go in if they just go in the back of the net. Actually, I think television quite likes it, the way you scored oh, the well, today. <laughs> well, uh, I hope uh, I entertain the crowd. It's a great bonus for us that the semi-finals at Wembley, obviously, but uh, now you're this far, you, you hope your name's on it, don't you? I mean, it, it's been done in the past, and we hope our name 
this year for the final time at Wembley is uh, written on that cup or certainly the cup final. So we'll have to try our very best to go all the way now. Obviously, it's a tremendous, uh, tremendous one to have, uh, especially because uh, we're going to Wembley if, to play in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I mean, uh, I can't say it often enough because it sounds, uh, it sounds so nice. Only the one goal, but um, no shortage of action. Terrific cup tie. Yeah, I think everything you want in the quarter-final of the FA Cup. Um, it was competitive, but it was quite open. There was end-to-end -end stuff, there was lots of chances, some quality play from both sides. Challenge have had this great run, 11 wins in the trot. Bolton were at home, so it was nicely set up. I think Bolton deserved to win the match. I think, you know, watching them, four or five quality players, and um, they played really, really well. And they had the star player as well, didn't they? What did the good Hansen make of the good Jonsson? Well, he was better and good, I've got to be honest and say. You know, he's been at the game for a couple of years with bad ankle, and he's come to Bolton, and he set the place in fire, really. I mean, if you look at him, two great feet, bit of pace, great awareness, and scored a wonder goal, and um, it might be said that he should be playing a better division. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think he's, he should be playing the first division. I hope that Bolton get up and he comes into the Premiership because he is a really, really talented player. Mm -hmm. He really is. This is the first minute of the match, and this shows you what he's capable of doing. If you watch, the great thing here is the first touch. Great first touch. Goes to hit, comes inside, and then that's nearly a great goal in the first minute. Now this is like David Beckham. This cross, here, it's like 50 yards. Absolutely fantastic. And Taylor should just pop it over the keeper's head. And he really should do better. That should have been a goal. The ball was worthy of a goal. This is his goal. When he picks it up here, great awareness of the people round about him. Pass, move, and then quick look up, see where the keeper is, hits it across him in the back of the net. It looks even better from behind the goals. This is, this is absolutely terrific because he just knows where the red jerseys are on the bottom. He knows where his colleague is. Good movement. Just a quick look up and then bang. Yeah. There's a goal worthy of winning any mm. game. Looks a player. Now, mm. it didn't affect the result in the end, but there's a bit of mystery about the sending off. Clear it up for us. Well, as Bolton go, you know, they, they go the first half a lot of chances and then they go 1-0 one, one up and then about 30 seconds later, is Dean Holden here, who I think is a great tackle on Robinson. I think that's fantastic, but I'm sure look, did. Oh, there's a look, oh, that didn't look great there from Robinson. So, ten seconds later, right in front of the referee, just watch this. When he turns, turns around here, it's a little, it's a headbutt, and Graham Paul is like four yards away. And he hasn't got any option but to send them off. And that, honestly, it's absolutely crazy. And I know he doesn't make great contact, but you know, if you're going to do that in front of the referee, the referee has got no option but to send you off. Okay. So down to ten men, but Bolton dug him well. Oh well, they? if you're if you're playing with ten men, traditionally you'll go deeper and deeper, and that's what Bolton did. But you've got to be resolute. And they were terrific at the back, and they broke well. And you know, the young boy that came on had a good chance to win the game. But two things you need: you need a little bit of luck. And one, you need your keeper to play well. Mm. And did he play well? And what was the guy's name, the keeper? Um, the Finn. <laughs> you see Jaskalainen. Oh, well, that's great. That? I didn't see that because <laughs> I can't get close to his name. But the first save that he has here is good. That's a good save. The next save, in my opinion, is, is better. Kinsella gets it. Just as I say, they back off to the 18 yard line. Comes up with his left hand here. That's a better save, but the last save is absolutely sensational. Kinsella again, he hits it onto the post. Now, the reaction to get up and save that again with his feet is absolutely fantastic. And I tell you what, save of the season. Mm. Should have scored that. <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> Down to 7-1 to one for the cup now, Bolton.